All right, we're here at Blue Jack National in Montgomery, Texas. Here with Rich Barslow, the head golf professional here. We're gonna talk about a shot that causes a lot of anxiety to recreational golfers, and that is the bunker shot. You have a simple way, though, to kind of go from start to finish here, right? No. It doesn't have to be high anxiety for a golfer. It really doesn't need to be high anxiety because it's the only shot in golf where you really don't even have to hit the golf ball. You have a wider margin of error in the bunker and people just don't know how to go about to get the ball out of the sand. So first I'd like to talk about the actual club that you're going to use out of the sand. Here I have a 60 degree lob wedge with, you see, a wide sole. What you need to use out of the bunker is the sole. What I find most amateurs do is that they use too much of the leading edge. So that's gonna promote more of a dig and more times than not a fat shot and you don't get out of the bunker. So if you look at the bottom of the sole, the back of the flange is lower than the leading edge. So what you need to do is use that sole so that it bounces out of the sand. If you get the handle forward and you start to pull the handle, then you see how sharp that leading edge is and it digs into the sand. So what I do to promote using the bounce is I set the handle slightly back and that exposes the bounce. You can see, you have to use the bounce out of the bunker. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. I'm gonna climb in here. First thing I do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my feet into the, into the sand a little bit and choke up a touch. You notice my knee flex. I get a lot lower in the bunker than a normal chip shot. A normal chip shot kind of looks like this. A bunker shot, I'm gonna get a little wider and a little lower. So you can see I, I have the handle set slightly behind the ball. It's gonna expose the bounce. And then the main thing is I'm gonna to try to splash some sand out of this bunker. So what I see most commonly done in the bunker is that they just stop their, their follow through and then it comes out fat. There you go. So hopefully that tip takes the anxiety and intimidation factor away from being in this white stuff and can get it from the sand up onto the green a little more consistency. For more on Blue Jack National, just visit bluejacknational.com and for more tips just like this from Rich, stick with golf.com.